Hello everybody, I'm Josh Craig and this is Edward Anderson and tonight we're here to talk to you about the St. Christopher Mountain Bike Team and how it all got started. So in about 2008, we first started riding mountain bikes and we decided to do it for the adventure side of it. We just want to go out and explore the great outdoors and a bike is an efficient and fun way to do it. So we began riding on the James River Park System or JRPS for short and we still ride there regularly today because it's a very well maintained trail system and it's just a fun place to ride. And so immediately we fell in love with the sport for a couple of reasons. First being that it's whenever you come across a trail that has a log or a big rock or some roots and you can't get over it successfully on your bike and you have to get off to the side and walk it, it's an extremely humbling moment and taking the time to learn the new skill set in order to achieve that goal of getting over those roots, that rock or that log is very gratifying. Uh, another reason why we love mountain biking so much is because sometimes you have to improvise. For example, one time we were out on Bell Isle, where I'm sure many of you frequently go, and as you can see in the picture, I got a flat tire, so we had a tube on us, and we fixed that flat tire, got another flat tire, and we were about a mile away from a parking lot from where we could get picked up. So what we did was we stuffed my rear tire with grass, and it worked pretty well. I got out of it, uh, nothing was damaged, and yeah, that's only one of the great stories that we have to tell you. <laughs> So our first official race was in May of 2012 at the Dominion River Rock Festival. And even though we didn't do particularly well in the race, we loved it and knew that racing was something we wanted to pursue through at least the next year. So any race that Josh and I could find, we would enter into. Um, one of them being um, just outside of Bedford County, Virginia, called Throwdown in Tanktown, which was our favorite race that year and still is to this date. What's cool about that race is it feels much more like a ride than a race because normally you're just racing your competitor up and down the hills, but in this race you're talking, relaxing to maybe, and relaxing with your um, friend on the trails or maybe someone you just met that weekend. It's funny, um, at the beginning of the race there's a stream crossing that you can come across mm -hmm. and um, there's a bridge off to the side which is a little bit slower than going straight through the stream, but um, in the pre-lap I decided to take the option of the bridge, I wanted to reserve the stream for the race, and Josh being himself decided to go straight through the stream and stopped right in the middle and fell right into the water. <laughs> but I can't make too much fun of him for that because I did the exact same thing. <laughs> and so, so in that first year of training, in that first year of racing, sorry, we began to develop a training program of our own for we didn't have coaches at this time. And through our training of just endurance and finding new skills to go faster on the downhills, we became some serious competitors in the races that we attended, and we became a common face on the podium, and we podiumed at the majority of the events that we attended. In the spring of 2013, Josh and I started competing in the Virginia High School Mountain Bike Series, or VAHS for short, as independent riders. And the series lasted from April to May, consisting of five races all across Virginia of varying terrain. What was unique about this was we were finally racing against people our own age level, and but with that competition at our own age level significantly increased, and Josh and I were forced to step up our training and skill levels. And so the reason that the competition was so much more well, hard, because <laughs> as I mentioned, these, we raced in the VHS as independent racers. So we weren't a part of a team, we just joined, signed up for the series, and raced. And the majority of all the racers in this series were part of teams, and those teams, the majority of the teams were all parts of schools. As you can see, some of the schools include the Woodbury Forest Academy, Bear Creek Academy, the Miller School, Blue Ridge, Trinity Fisk School, and the Armstrong School. And so we noticed that all these racers who were on these teams were doing better than us because of the teamwork and the friendships that they had on their team. And so that gave us inspiration to create a St. Cruz Mountain Bike team that we could call our own. And so we went out and we decided to talk to a man by the name of Craig Foster, whom I assume many of you probably know or have heard of. He's a lower school PE coach. And we decided to talk to him because we knew that he was a passionate mountain biker himself. And as we assumed, he was very excited to attempt to start a team. And so, we, in a meeting that we had, we decided that it was Edward and I's duty to go out and find 
students at the school who would be interested in joining the team as racers, and it was Mr. Foster's duty to go out and find adults who would be interested in coaching this new team. So Coach Foster brought along um, Mr. Abbott, Sean Carruthers, and Tommy Bishop on board to the developing team as he thought they'd make great coaches, and he was definitely right. Coach Foster himself was just great at organizing everything as the head coach and was super enthusiastic about everyone's desire to improve. Mr. Abbott was just always there to help. I can't remember a practice that Mr. Abbott missed, and if anyone got a flat tire or had a mechanical problem with their bike, Mr. Abbott would be on it right away and have it fixed in no time, it seemed like. And a quick side note, or side story about Coach Abbott, actually. In the midst of my personal racing season, I had a bit of a tumble, and as you can tell <laughs> from my pictures, it was much more significant than a bit of a tumble. I, uh, <laughs> I broke four bones in my body, two in my face, my right wrist, and I broke my kneecap in two pieces. And so, before I continue the story, I just want to say that this is a race that the St. Cruz Mountain Bike Team does not attend. <laughs> I chose to go to this race, which is at Bryce Park, which I'm sure many of you, or Bryce Resort, sorry, which is a skiing resort out near Harrisonburg. And the, the reason that this one was so much more dangerous than any race that the St. Christopher's team does is because it was all downhill. What it was is you'd ride the ski lift to the top, and then you'd have five stages all time. So you ride to the top of the ski lift, and then ride down as fast as you can, that's your time section. And in between each time section, you've got a warm-up lap or a warm-up run on that exact trail that was going to be time. So I was on my third warm-up run for the third stage when I just got a little too fast, got a little uncomfortable, unbalanced in the air, and wiped out, like I said, broke four bones in my body. And so I was positioned to get first place in the junior category and third or second in the men's category overall for that race. And that was an extremely traumatic moment of my life, and I plan for that to be the most traumatic moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and so the reason that Coach Abbott is a huge part of this is I vividly remember whenever I finally got through surgery and whatnot on my face and went back to school, Coach Abbott was the one person who was really like, no matter where I was in my healing process, he would come to me and say, look, you can only get better. You'll be racing before you know it. And this injury occurred in about late September. By mid-December, I was back on my bike, back with my coaches, training, getting ready for the next season. So um, Coach Bishop was just easily the most enthusiastic and exciting member of the team, and also doubled as the team photographer. Coach Carrithers is an ex-pro cyclist, um, so we raced against the best in the world, making him great at developing training programs and pushing us through practices um, through the week. And so after lots of planning, problem solving, logistics, and lots of determination, Craig Foster, along with our help, kicked off the first year of the St. Christopher's Mountain Bike Team, and it was great. We got to do what we love for our school, and we got to represent St. Chris in a whole new community that had never been seen before. And so, before I continue, I just want to say that these jerseys that you see in these pictures were graciously donated by Dr. Graham Gardner for the school to not fund the team. And also, I want to just put out some names out there. All the people, or all the racers who were first on the team consists of myself, Edward, Billy Wilson, Jack Anderson, Luke Perry, Teddy Roski, and Harrison Rice. So as a whole, this year the team competed in four races in the National Interscholastic Cycling Association, or NICA for short, which is a series very similar to the VAHS series, which I talked about earlier. However, this is just in the fall rather than the spring. And all the members of the team thoroughly enjoyed the races, and um, if they wanted to pursue the racing further, there were many outside races. Um, for example, there were three just right here in Forest Hill Park, and east of Richmond and also northwest of Richmond. Before we go to the next slide, we'd just like to say how much mountain biking can be misunderstood. Um, many people don't understand how hard simply completing a 15 or 20 mile race can be, and to really be competitive in that is much, much harder. So from everything from getting into amazing shape to making sure your bike is in perfect working condition must be taken into account before you um, compete in a race. And so on that note, I am very happy to announce that, the, that all riders on the team improved dramatically in their respective divisions. And the St. Christopher's Mountain Bike Team podiumed at every single event we attended, which means that we either got first, second, or third. 
And also, overall, for the whole NSA series, we got second on teams that only consisted of males right behind the middle school. So thank you all so much for your time, and have a great rest of the night.